Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we pray. We thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the God of the Lord, the monarch, the king of glory, the ancient of peace, the I am. Who oh, bless you in the name of the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for preservation. We thank you, dear Lord, for your mercy. If it's your mercy that we every morning and going to be thankful, you are the creator of heaven. And not very complexity to what she is. Father, in fact, it's a hand in fact. Receive all to glory, all honor and adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for divine abilities. As the Karush and Arabazi, we give you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we lay our crown. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father. You are worthy. You are glorious in holiness. Father, we lay our crown, even as we worship you this hour. You deserve all the worship. You deserve all the glory and all honor. We did it, Bushida Zigata. We parasutur Bushida Lord, your word, Father, your word, we judge thee faithful. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Oh, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank 
Just that you are being lifted, you are blessed and highly, highly favored. The Lord is saying it's a new season. The Lord will give you a new name in this season. Glory to God. And so this morning, the Lord wants us to touch base on the spiritual significance of names, the power of names. Glory to God. You see, your name, the name is spiritual, is is a mystery behind. Hallelujah. And so, what name do you be? Hallelujah. And so, we will talk about the spirit, the spiritual significance of names. What names do you be? It's the realm of Is some of you don't even know the meaning of human beings. I'm talking literally. We choose names because the sound effect or the meaning or the sense of without giving any thoughts as to what the names. So I ask you again, what is your need? Every person has a need. Different needs. That's what you mean. If you're walking on a place, they will just give you me and give you me. Have a need. So names are more important than scripture shows multiple times that the name change was important. A name that was less than heritage was changed by the one of when God does something, He gives you a new name. It is, it is scriptural, it is biblical. But I tell you, it is weakness. Even our prayer, the meaning of the name. But when He encounters God, the meaning of the When in my gives you a So, what is true? 
And so God asked so many questions, famous questions in the human scripture. Often time you hear, what did God really say? He can say to God when God called him, when the blood of Abel was signed, God called in that where is you know it's my body's different we hear questions now why are you laughing so today we're going to look at the question that comes Acts, acts that is that God is asking, or God that God has, that is truly about as personal as they come. What is your name? What name is associated with you? Put in the history and in the world. See, a name is no, a name is a why? Because it carries the reputation. Whether the reputation is good, the name carries weight. Your name is If your name is good, it carries the reputation. Today, we may just choose the name again from here, or just choose the name. But in Bible, name is what we choose. In the name, the Jew. Representative name. Name is associated most times with the circumstance behind the parent child. And so the parent will name according to the situation surrounding the person surrounding the birth of that child. Even the angel, when the angel visited about Joseph, the name was already your, 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 your wife will conceive after that the communication came up. And the name was the name was given. A good name is more desirable and great riches to be esteemed with better than And so, next I often, often in so many times, when you mention me, It represents that if a family has good, good reputation, when you mention that the candidate or oh, social success is from social success, oh, that good people, the reputation is. And so it carries, it becomes like a legacy. 
mkwaru wenye reputation ni And so what it means is that we must look carefully at the new how we Jebez does not destroy what it is. He did not like it to move on to because of what it means. Again, Jebez was more honored than his brother. His mother had named him Jebez, saying, I gave birth to him in peace. Jebez cried out to the Lord to the God of Israel, Oh, that thou would bless and enlarge his territory. Keep me from the land so that I'll be fruitful. And God granted me his wish. Of course, if my name was clean, I would want to change the path of truth. Glory to the name Jesus. I would want to change the path. How can you, how can your name or you live your life? Know you fully well, what the name of the name is. So it's done. Jabez is remembered for a prayer. The Bible says he was more honorable than his brothers. So he wasn't like he was a nobody, but he wanted a king. He was more honorable than. But he was still not satisfied with what his name represented. And so he wanted a change. In his prayer, he asked God. He first asked God to bless him. He sought blessings of God. He asked God to help him in his work by expanding his. Expanding his territory. He asked God to be with him in all that he did. And finally, that prayer consisted in asking God to keep him from trouble and pain. Glory to God. One thing is spectacular about this man. Jabez acknowledged God as the true center of his being. So when you pray for God's blessings, you should also that you will take his rightful position as the Lord over our work, over our work, over our family, over all that comes. But he was not only a hero, he was renewed. And so Jebez prayed specifically to be protected from trouble and pain, knowing fully well the circumstances surrounding him. We live in a fallen world filled with sin. And it's super important to ask God to keep us safe from the evil and uncontrolled evil that comes our way. This is the man that is not. 
give birth to me in serious pain. Two images. Align with Even though scripture says he was more honored than him, he knew he cannot continue to win. He wanted to change. He sought for a change. And that is giving someone on his side a new thing. I that God will give you. It doesn't matter what name you have been called. It doesn't matter what reputation. It doesn't matter every situation. It doesn't matter what you have been called. It doesn't matter what you have been called. It doesn't matter what you have been called. That's one example. What name do you want to be? What is your true identity? And then we'll go to Genesis chapter 2. And that night, Jacob got up and took his two sons, his two female sons, the legend of God, and crossed the foot of Egypt. After he had sent them out, he sent them to all his possessions. So Jacob said to them, and they were in the rest of the So he went there. When the man saw that he could not go back, Touched the surface of Jacob so that his feet were stretched as, as he was thrown. Now, the scripture does present who this man is, but I believe it's God or the angels represent the people of God. And then the man said, Let me go, for it is David. I will not let you go. Verse 27, the man asked him, what is your name? Jacob. That's his name. That, that's the name you give him. So he wasn't. So the Lord is asking. What is your name? And then verse 28. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with blood and human and have overcome. Ah, my sweet God is giving you an overcoming name in the name of Jesus. You shall be God. Can you do that? Verse 29, Jacob said, Please tell me this, but reply. Why do you ask me this? And he greeted me. He blessed me. So Jacob called his name, and he saying it is him. But God faced his face, and he gave back to him what he said. The sun rose above him as he sat upon the ground, and he was limping because of his feet. Therefore, to this day, the Israel do not give him the name of Jacob, because the stockets of Jacob.
And so if a name could be described in an object, what would it be? What would it be? If you are the God of the universe, and God has what you at which at this point, what was would you be? What is your name as the So Jacob's most definitely described him up to the point in time where it's done. If you go back to that scripture. So Jacob was left alone, and a man rescued him from his friend. When the man saw that he could not overcome, he thought he could take up the of him so that he could keep up him as he rescued him. Then the man said, Please, Natalia, let me go. But Jacob said, No, I will not let you go unless you pronounce the curse. Unless you bless me, I will not let you go. Not over until it is over. Amen. Jacob, Jacob, and in his name. So wrestling for blessing was not a new thing. He's used to competition. If you study the life of Jacob, you have a clear understanding of what he means. Remember in scripture, he wrestled to be conquered by grabbing his brother. His brother was the first brother. He didn't want to be the pistol, he'd be the first to come out. The Bible says he grabbed. Let's read that of Genesis 25. It says, after this, his brother came out with the king, grasping his brother. So he was named Abraham. Isaac was 60 years when he became a king. So Jacob literally treats that for the decision that it is me. And he continued to end that name. He continued to carry that name. Hallelujah. If you read Genesis chapter 27, you will see that Jacob even stole his brother's birthright through deceit, through uh, trickery. He tricked his brother. And he said, And so what that resulted was a, a blessing that was meant to be God that was given by him. And so that resulted in Jacob running for his life. He had to run. And in chapter 29 of Genesis, we also saw that Jacob falls in love. The Bible says on his wedding night, he ends up on the wrong end of a cliff. And in chapter 30, fast forward, the Bible says he manages the flock in a deceiving way. So in order to do his work, he's a deceiver. That is the original meaning of the If you go to chapter 31 of Genesis, the Bible says he ends up having to As far to chapter 32 of Genesis, the Bible says he is he was about to face his brother, his son, and he was deceived. He was scared to death. He was afraid of retaliation from his brother. But he couldn't face his brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stolen veteran. A life of defeat, a life of grief, did not bring him a fulfillment. Now he's about to face the man who vowed to kill him. So he has a very tough night, a very great night. The 
Bible tells us that he prayed and asked God to help him. We do something completely our fault that gets us into, into trouble, and then we begin to beg God to get us get us out of the mess, to clean up the mess that we have. I was not there when Jacob was wrestling or praying or having that encounter with people, but I pictured Jacob pacing around, wondering, praying, crying, thinking, feeling from the I'm walking through scenarios in his life. A ring check of his life. Scared and wrestling with his emotions. Then somewhere in the midst of all that emotional battle. Somewhere in the midst of all that emotional wrestling. He finds himself literally wrestling with God. Wrestling with At some point, Jacob realized that who he is truly wrestling, wrestling with the God, spiritually, had all men, more like the watching, the vision. You see, when we wrestle with God, we lose one way or another. I don't think for one moment that Jacob had an end where he wanted. In reality, it was the other way around. Just like he knew what Jacob knew. He just wanted to Jacob to admit his sin. was a trickster. And The man comes up, the man wanted to make sure that Jacob had to be able to do the healing it. The twins of God. For God to give him a new healing. See, sometimes the only way you can get any of the healing is by yielding. Surrender. Go to God. The angel, God knew who he was. But he has asked, What is your name? Acknowledge, yield, surround, surrendering. Tell me who you think you are. What is that you do? I am Jacob. I'm that deceiver. I am that trickster. I am that. Some of you might be thinking, well, Jacob wanted him, right? But I would say, not exactly. He actually lost. He lost a name. And the nature, the nature that he was, that was putting him back. And I think that was putting him back. He lost that trust. He lost that trust. That is that truth that nature. Look at what it is. Look at the opportunity. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because some people have been. When you get to the place, you pick up and you are ready to trust God. That's when things begin to change. You've done it for me. Been, been, been there, done it else. You've done it for me. And you want to stop. You 
want to speak and you Otherwise, your life will continue to be struggling. And you will stay between two between the struggle. I don't know that I do. I'm very resolved. I like to see success. I don't like to remain in one state. And so we have to learn to trust. We have to learn to give. We have to learn to trust. At some point, the light bulb needs to on and you try to get us You've done this, you've done that. Yeah, but you try to get us How about you handle it? And the only way is to trust the Lord. I have done this, I have done that, but now I can do it. One thing about this story, one thing about Jacob, one thing Jacob did have going on in this encounter was his Be persistent when you are praying for that your love. When you're praying for that provision. When you're praying about that relationship. When you're praying for that job. When you're praying for that ministry. Be persistent when it seems everything is falling apart. And you seem not to see the light. Be persistent with your praise. Be persistent, consistency with your praise, with your worship, with your sacrifice, with all the spiritual disciplines and exercises. Be persistent with God and things will definitely change. But it may mean that we have to change our name. Jacob got a new name. I said earlier that Jacob's name basically meant a cheater. Somebody who is very clever, who has a skill in cheating, in tricking people. God gave him a new name, Israel. Israel means the power of God. Israel might God's chosen nation. God chose him. God chose him. Israel is the power. I'm thinking that's a very much better name than Jacob. From trickster, from a deceiver, to the power of God, they are not comparable. I mean, it is a great thing to know the name of the only one that can change us. Let's go back to the scripture. Genesis 32, 28 and 29. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be but is because he has struggled with God. Jacob said, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why do you have In the act of, of course, the new testament, 
That was the amendment. When confronted with the right light, why do you He responded with his own question, who are you As a pastor, as an apostle, he then turned to people that do not know. From a man that was a teacher, God gave him a new name after he had an encounter. On his way to the last time, he gave a power. He said, Who are you? That encounter accompanied him in the world. God ordained him an apostle to so many to tell us the new testament. For that kind of thing, Who is the only thing on the by which we calling on that thing to Bible school see that call upon the name of Jesus? The name that flow through this is a have not you. The name whose shed blood covers all of our Why do we truly call upon him? What in our heart is Jesus? That's the question that we can say, Jacob said, Please tell me what he is. But he could say, Let me ask my name. Then he blessed me more. So Jacob called the blessing in that day. It is because I encountered. When a cup of marriage, when a, a cup of marriage, in most cultures, the woman usually takes the man's name by the turn it down to the man. That's the point. So the, the bride will keep the name of the man. In most cultures, right? To show the depth of that. However, some people don't want to be there. In some cultures, or maybe the first man's preference. Other than that, those that refuse to have a name want to get it. It doesn't matter. They want the rich without the color. They want the heaven without the name king. But without the means, we'll have to see the to see the truth is that the first time is exactly what our understanding is. I'll read what And this is the to make that 
So starvation is a covenant type of relationship. Relationship is a blood covenant. We are meant to be his pure bride. We are the bride of Christ. We need a name change from an unbeliever to a believer, and from a sinner to a Christian. That name above all our names. We must take on. We must take on that identity. We must wear that name like our name change literally means Christ. We are not everyone together. That Why ask about that? Why do I want to know that name? We must admit who we are. We must believe in the name of the one we are restoring it. We must confess our name. We must know who and whom we are. We must know where our project is. The reality is that we have been grafted down with Christ. We have an identity. So it really doesn't matter what you have been called in the past or the names the enemy has given you. If you are known for making trouble, if the devil has afflicted with poverty, frustration, depression, sickness, infirmity, low self esteem, life of habitual sin, or waywardness, whatever the case, God has been on that. Not stable. We can accept Jesus Christ as the form of his mercy, or that is the church. He says, when a man is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. And all things. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what the organization is all that is God is not this word comes to be and all things God is doing it. Embrace your new identity. Embrace your true identity. Embrace who and who you are. You are the child of the child. You are the child of the child. You are the child of the child. What you have here.
So when you come to him, when you accept him, he gives you things like that. You become glad. And he loves you. And this visit God is going to give you new. Everything you have to do that you want. You be brand new. For me, it's beauty for the things. All people can do is come on a beautiful day. I'm happy to thank you for the new man. We thank you, Lord, for giving us brand new. We know who we are. But the new has come. Walk in that reality. Glory to God. Share this teaching and God bless you. We will going to continue with the names of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And now we have a nice teaching. Do well.